we are going to solve this 3 by 3 system of equations. And I'm going to write it as a matrix. So 3, 6, 5, 1, 2, negative 9, negative 5, negative 2, hello, negative 2, and then 1, 3, 5, 0. So I'm going to make some zeros. Uh, I think making them here and here should be pretty easy. So I think first thing that I'll do is uh, I'll just add row 1 to row 2 and put that into row 2. I'll get rid of this. And then I'll think I'll add, um, maybe I'll just subtract. I'll just subtract row 3 from row 1. So row 1 minus row 3, put that into row 3. I have a lot of options. Those are just the ones I chose. So uh, first row is unaffected, so 3, 6, 5, 1. Second row, row 1 plus row 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5. Uh, 6 plus negative 9 is negative 3. 5 minus 5, that's 0. 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1. And then uh, next thing I'm going to do, row 1 minus row 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2. 6 minus 3 is 3. 5 minus 5 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. Great. So now what I can do, I have these two zeros. I'm going to make a zero here. And what's nice, I can just add row 2 and row 3 together. Row 2 plus row 3. Throw that into row 3. So first row is unaffected. Second row is also unchanged. Third row, 5 plus 2, that is a 7. Um, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. And negative 1 plus 1 is also 0. And it looks like a 9. My 7 looks kind of like a 9. Those are pretty ugly. I'll clean them up a little bit. So um, this is not a no solution situation. This is saying 7x equals 0. So that means that x equals 0. Great. So I can plug it back into here then. 5 times x, which is 0, minus 3 times y equals negative 1. So negative 3y equals negative 1. Subtract, uh, sorry, divide by negative 3. And y is positive 1 third. Great. So then I'll plug those both into this one to see what I get. Uh, 3 times x, x is 0, plus 6 times y, which is a third, uh, plus 5z equals 1. So that's a 0. 3 plus 5z is 1. Um, I am going to then do a little bit of subtraction. Oh, no. Sorry. Uh, 6 times a third is 2. Uh, I'm still going to do a little bit of subtraction. 5z equals negative 1 divided by 5. z is negative 1 fifth. So I can write my answer this way. Uh, real explicitly, x is 0. Y is one third, Z is negative one fifth, or I could write it as the ordered triplet X, Y, Z. This and this are both good answers.